Hi everyone, I'm Pio. I'm Am. And we work for Stun in Thailand. We have been on a mission to record a video to show you the most visited places in Bangkok, uh, which included three temples and Chinatown. But we weren't alone. We went with two of our guests from Panyapuat Institute of Management, or PIM. So let's welcome them. Okay. Hello guys. Hey guys. I'm Jesse. I'm Ben. We are from the International Relations Great. Project. We this place would be packed and full with tourists so this is a really great opportunity for you to get to see um, a whole different sort of environment but unfortunately today they are having a religious ceremony so we are only allowed outside. So do you know why they call this temple the Temple of Emerald Buddha? I, it's because there is the Emerald Buddha right there inside. <laughs> Correct. So the Emerald Buddha is actually the, one of the most uh, sacred and important uh, Buddha in Thailand. And it, it went through lots and lots of wars and history uh, right. before it came to, to Bangkok. Yeah, and yeah, very. it's like a significant, it's like a signature of this temple. Yeah, I think you have to be here to see it yourself. Yeah, but I heard that it's really small. It's like 50. 17 centimeters, is that really? correct? Yeah, I think so. The actual one. The actual one yes. is quite small and it's not actually made out of emerald, it's made out of jade. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Interesting fact. It is. <laughs> needs to be changed three times a year and it's changed by the king himself so the flag is up and what does that represent because when you see the yellow flag rest that flag stands for the royal monarchy and when it rests up it means that one of the royal family present inside yep right here right here okay so now we're done here and we're leaving and we're moving on to the next temple which is Wat Po we have spotted a celebrity that is a Thai celebrity posting for something <laughs> not sure what he's doing a lot of uh, policemen around because one of the members of the royal family is on their way to the temple and now they're trying to clear out all the cars.
so we have walked about 10 minutes from the previous temple and now we have arrived at the second temple which is Wat Ho um, and we're gonna go in Reclining Buddha. So, uh, it's like the reason that is a like a lay down uh, Buddha statue. It mean the meaning is uh, when Buddha enter to the Nirvana, he has to be in this position. Yeah. Yeah. What a room or a temple of the dawn. Let's go. Okay. So we are going to Wat Arun or the temple of the dawn. You'll see the mix of the Thai and Chinese architecture. Let's see. As Thai belief has long been influenced by the Rama epic, and as we name our king after Ramana for Rama the first to the current one is Rama the tenth. And this one, it's actually illustrated one of the mountain from the Ramayana epic called Tapasumen. Because as you can see, 
This is the decoration. It's a little piece of the gloves with a Chinese piece of name, so it looks really beautiful. It's called chop chop chip because it's not actually a chop chip. It's chocolate with a chop chip. I'm confusing myself though. Here, chop chop chip. So beautiful. <laughs> Station called the, the station is called Sanam Chai Station. Right. And as you can see, the interior decorations right here are illustrated the palaces. Mm -hmm. That's because in each uh, MRT station, I mean, around this area, they have a concept of decorations just to make it, uh, it depends on its location. Hey guys, and right now we're boarding the MRT and we're heading to the Chinatown. And here is what it looks like. Speeding up. So here we are now at Chinatown and we're gonna buy some food to eat because we are so hungry. Alright, let's go. I think I'll start out with the store right here for the side of the whole building. Careful. Just turn it off. Is it hot? No, it's already heavy. How was it? It's good. I like it a lot. You know? <laughs> Regular table.
trip has come to an end and we're gonna end it here in Chinatown. Uh, we just finished our dinner. We really hope that you guys enjoy it, but this is our first ever vlog. So if there's any mistakes, uh, we apologize in advance. And uh, if you have any other place that you want to visit, just let us know and we take you there. Yeah. See you here in Thailand. See you. Bye.